Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I'm currently a space systems optimization engineer working for a space company. But before that, I studied maths at university. I studied my undergrad at the University of Leeds where I obtained top of the year in applied mathematics. And then I went on to study a master's at the University of Cambridge in mathematics as well. So yeah, I'm a bit of a maths lover really. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can prepare for a maths degree. So this video will be looking at smoothing the transition between A-levels and university or the equivalent of A-levels if you have studied something different. You don't have to do everything in this video but hopefully it will be helpful for those of you that are interested. So the first thing I'm going to talk about are books and these are two books that I found very helpful before I started at university. The first one is How to Study a Mathematics Degree by Laura Alcock and I believe she's a professor at Loughborough University or she was. Somebody commented on one of my videos when I'd mentioned the book before and said oh I'm lectured by her. Um, yeah, and apparently she's a great lecturer. So the book itself I found incredibly helpful. I read it before I went to university and there were things in that book that I remembered that stuck with me. And one of them was you only need 70% for a first. And that's something I say on this channel, you know, don't worry if you can't do absolutely everything on your maths degree, 70% is a first for a reason. Uh, and that piece of advice that I give is from that book. But the book itself goes into two kind of sections. One of them is on preparing for like the maths, type of maths that you learn. So things like proofs, theorems, axioms, just understanding what those are, understanding the kind of concepts, the concepts that you'll meet on a maths degree. And it helps you understand what you can expect when you do join a maths degree. The second part of the book is on studying. So, you know, how to manage your time well, what to do if you're overwhelmed with your maths degree, lectures, just stuff aside from the, the mathematics that you'll learn. And I really like that. And it gives you an, a good overall knowledge of not only the maths that you can sort of encounter on your degree, but also how you can study and how you can make the most of a maths degree and what to do when you are you know, at university, how to study and all those things. So that was really, really helpful for me. I really, really like the book. It's not too long and it's an easy read. So yeah, recommend that book, number one. The other book that I would recommend is How to Think Like a Mathematician by Kevin Houston. Now, I didn't buy this book. I went to the University of Leeds for my undergrad and Professor Kevin Houston, I believe now, he was a lecturer there, but essentially he handed out to everybody in, in the maths department uh, a book, you know, his book for free, which was really nice. It's a lot bigger than the previous book that I mentioned, but it does go into a lot of maths that you can kind of encounter, how to write like a mathematician, how to think like a mathematician. I think it was like how to read like a mathematician or how to take in notes, and those were really helpful. But I remember he drilled into us in our first year how to write maths and how to, you know, what mistakes you can avoid making and stuff like that. But that's the first part of the book itself. Then the book goes on to learning about, you know, sets, numbers, uh, all kind of stuff that we learn in the number systems module in my first year. So if you want to read that book, the first part is really helpful because it goes into how to read and write like a mathematician. After you've learned about that stuff, the math that you learn in the book is very similar to a first year module that I did. So if you're interested in learning about potentially a module that you might study at university, that is a great book. So those are two books that I would recommend reading before you go on to study a maths degree. You don't have to, um, I just found them quite helpful. So if you're interested, then yeah, give them a read. The second way that you can prepare for a maths degree, aside from reading books, is looking at the variety of modules that your course offers. So for me in my first year, I got exposed to so many areas of maths that I I absolutely love. So for example, I learned maths from applied mathematics, pure mathematics, statistics, more specifically calculus, geometry, probability, stuff like that. So what I think is a really good idea and I would recommend if you are wanting to you know, get ahead before your maths degree, you don't have to do this, but if you go to your degree course you see what the first year entails if you're if that's available to you that is so it's a really good idea to find your course content for first term first year and just having a look at what modules are on offer basically the reason i say this is because we had to learn statistics and i remember in my first lecture in statistics the lecturer said put your hands up if you have learnt stats in some form in your A-levels. And there were a few people that hadn't, but just check that you have the prerequisites for these course courses that, that are offered. Now, I mentioned looking at what courses are on offer. If you are a super eager person and you want to start learning the content before you go, what you can do is you can find lecture notes online. These might not be available for every single lecture, every single course you have. But I used a resource called Stu Doku and essentially it has 
like you can type in your university followed by like a, a specific module and then lecture notes and sometimes it comes up the university of leeds was actually quite good for, for lecture notes especially for first year but don't worry if you start reading some lecture notes and you have no idea what's going on that's why you're paying money to get lectured by someone so yeah don't don't stress too much now i'm going to mention some things that i found super helpful whilst i was on my maths degree and these are just online resources the first one is wolfram alpha and this is essentially just a place that you can put maths in it's kind of almost like i guess google search but for maths so you just type in like an equation and it will give you the solution it will give you you know differential equations it will give you all sorts of stuff uh, contour plots anything like that in first year there were a lot of times where it'd be like solve this partial differential equation or like reduce this into a certain form and wolfram alpha i think most of the time would do it for you Obviously, it didn't show you the steps. You can pay for the premium. I don't think it's that much money, but I, I didn't just purely because I knew that I wouldn't be getting the most out of my maths degree if I just copied some solution online. I just used it to verify my uh, answers. So Wolfram Alpha is really great for that. So it's kind of like an online maths calculator, but quite advanced. So I'd recommend using that if you are at university. The other online resource that I used was Desmos. I think that's how you say it. And that is just a graphing calculator. I just use it to help visualize certain plots. I think it's just two, two dimensions and you can just use it to visualize graphs and plots. And that was really helpful. And the 3D equivalent of that is GeoGebra, which is like a 3D plotting uh, software. Um, and hopefully that'll be helpful to you as well if you start uh, doing some 3D plots, for example. The final online resource is Math Stack Exchange. And essentially this is just a place where people will ask questions and people will answer them for, for you. Um, I've never posted anything on there, but it's quite helpful because you can just search a kind of problem and most often than not, someone will have the same problem, especially in first year of university, because a lot of people go and study maths, maths degrees. A lot of people have questions. It's simple enough maths that there's gonna be quite a few people asking the same questions. So yeah, Math Stack Exchange was really helpful for me. The next point that I'm gonna make on how you can prepare for a maths degree is reviewing what you've learned over the summer. It's quite easy to finish A-levels or the equivalent and think, yes, like I'm done, I'm done with school now. And forget every, absolutely everything. And then you get into first term and you think, oh my gosh, I completely forgot how to do this. A maths degree itself, is it, they teach you a lot you know they there are a few things that they expect not everybody knows and therefore they teach you it from the kind of the, the ground upwards but it is really helpful to try and remember things from a level or equivalent you know things like chain rule product rule um, integration by parts stuff like that that just helps speed up the maths when you get there so just reviewing the stuff that you learn over your a levels or just having an idea of what you did learn and maybe keeping those notes ready for when you start your maths degree. But don't worry again too much. A lot of people literally just don't do anything before going to study a maths degree and they're absolutely fine. So this video is more for people who are super eager and want to get ahead. So yeah, don't worry too much about doing all the things in this video. It's just more if you are super eager and, and do want to prepare well for a maths degree and give yourself the best chance at getting a really good grade. I think one of the most important things you can do to prepare yourself for a maths degree and prepare yourself for maybe the intensity of a maths degree is have a realistic idea of what contact hours you'll have. I had, I think, around 21 contact hours in first year. I had quite a few lectures and then you have tutorials on top of that and also I think you have like lab work but it's not lab work it's like computer work kind of working with coding I think was what we did in first year so a maths degree compared to other degrees is quite intense I lived in a flat in first year and people would tell me about their contact hours and maths is always quite quite up there with one of the most contact hours degrees and that's just the way that it is just prepare yourself you know you might have to be spending more time in the library than some other students that study other degrees and that's just the way that it is. But if you are someone that works hard anyway, then I guess that doesn't really matter too much. But also it doesn't mean that you're constantly, you know, stuck inside the whole time. You have a chance to go out and enjoy yourself. I, I had plenty of chance to go out and enjoy myself in first year. So don't worry, you have a lot of contact hours, but that's just, that's just how it is really on a maths degree. The final thing that I'm gonna say, and this is probably the most important, is don't stress and just enjoy your summer. It's quite easy to, you know, if you're somebody who's quite nervous before studying a maths degree, that's absolutely fine. I was, I was very excited before going to study my undergrad, but for my masters, I was really, really nervous. And it's not worth spending your summer stressing over it. I think what's important is, yeah, you can learn all this math if you want over the summer. You don't have to. Please enjoy your summer because if you burn yourself out during your summer by trying to learn all the content, you get to university and you're already tired and you know university is more than just 
studying there are also you know the opportunity to make friends and meet people and join societies and have a really amazing time and you don't want to be burnt out before you start your degree so the most important thing is just try and enjoy your summer if you want to do any of the things i mentioned in this video then by all means go for it these are just tips if you if you do want to prepare but the most important thing as i've said just enjoy your summer have an amazing time and then when you get to university, hopefully you'll be in a situation where you'll just be like, wow, this is such an amazing experience and I'm learning some amazing maths. And I really hope that's the case for all of you watching this video. But yeah, that was the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Uh, reach out to me on social media. I do have a STEM account now where I'm doing all stuff to do with maths and physics and space and I honestly love it I just get to post about doing cool things every day so if you want to reach out to me on there then give me a follow and send me a message uh, and I'll do my best to answer any queries you have thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one